Welcome back to the channel guys. So we're starting this video off a little bit differently than usual. Tomorrow morning at 6.30 a.m. the super legit state patrol officer is gonna be showing up at my house to inspect the Ducati. I have all my paperwork and the Ducati ready to go. Now I'll give you a little glimpse of what it takes to get your vehicle or bike inspected. You're gonna need a lot of different forms and major part statements. So what I have is I have this letter, I've got my MV1, I've got a salvage title in my name, and I've got a major part statement. And those are the main things you need. There are a few other things, but the major part statement is pretty big because that shows that you have legally bought all the parts for the bike and that the bike is not stolen or it hasn't been repaired incorrectly. So I'm super excited excited to get this bike inspected and registered. It's gonna be sweet riding this summer. And I've already got a few buddies planning out rides as we speak, so I can't wait to go on those. We'll catch you guys tomorrow morning, bright and early, to see the State Patrol Officer. I remember you saying that you had to mandatory test drive these Ducatis, right? Yeah, no, I don't That's part of, the, part of the... <laughs> I, I used to take one for... I got my motorcycle license. I just got a little Honda 150, man. I beat that around and saved miles on my truck. See, oh, when yeah. you get hold, you, buy, you have a little 150 to beat around town. Exactly. But see, I got storage on mine, you know, a box on the back, and I can go to the store. All right, let's cut to the good stuff. As you guys can probably tell, I passed. On my old bike, on the CBR, man, I would have to, I'd have to switch so much, but I'm in third and I'm cruising right now. test here see what we can get to safely the one time I didn't want the bike to go into neutral at 90 miles an hour so after just putting this bike together like literally a, a, a day or so ago it actually feels pretty good i guess it's like a trial by fire type of thing if i didn't put the bike together i, I wouldn't be on it <laughs> as my fellow americans they looked at me 
pretty suspiciously. They were looking for my plates, which is in my pocket. Probably check how, how hot the bike is. Yeah, it's at 190. Holy. Let's try to find a spot. Oh, beautiful. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't. All right, time to go around. Ah, <laughs> oh, beautiful. That is smoking. We are back in the garage with the CBR and the Ducati. Man, riding that Ducati around town was so much fun. I love riding that thing. It is so powerful. It was really funny during the inspection in the morning. It was around 6 30, 7 o'clock. So everyone's getting up ready to go to work. And I actually received a few photos and texts from my neighbors saying, What happened? What did you do? Because who has a state patrol officer in their driveway at 6 30 in the morning? I had my bike outside in the driveway. So it looked like I was in some serious trouble. But it was all funny. I told them what happened. But I also thought it was funny because all my neighbors decided to go for a walk that morning so it was pretty funny the reactions I got as they saw me in the driveway with the state patrol officer but enough riding around now I'm gonna actually start by cleaning this bike and then we're gonna dive right into the wiring and start working on that So fortunately, I may have a lead on some information on this bike because on the rear of this bike, it says Got Gear Motorsports and it says gotgearmotorsports.com with a phone number on here. So I'll definitely have to check this out, see if there's any information on this bike. Maybe it was even just a bike that someone took for a test drive and it got smashed during the test drive because this is the plate. I mean, there's no actual plate on the end of this bike. Also, I was wondering if there's a tail tidy kit for this CDR 1000. I know it's pretty new, but I was wondering if they made a tail tidy kit so I could get rid of all these wires and plug in my own stuff. Also realize that I have the lock for the rear. I can just simply take this off and I have the rear lock. I'll need to get a new bracket though because this one's pretty bent. Just to give you guys a little idea of how this rear seat's gonna look, this is where it sits on the plastic and the frame there. I'll need to get a new one, but that bracket sits right underneath this and clamps that in and it locks in the rear right here, that little plastic piece. Without using any diagrams yet, the only way I'm really figuring out how some of this stuff goes is actually I'm using the broken pieces as a reference. This red clip right here was on this piece. So I set this piece next to the big piece and I figured out that this red clip goes on this side of the plastic tray. But that's basically how I'm getting all these pieces in place. And for the main big pieces, like the fuse box, it was on this broken plastic piece and I can easily tell that's where it went on the bracket. Found a few more friends while I was at it. So now I'm going to continue wiring everything up. I'm going to try to get these connectors that are from the bottom of the bike up and through this plastic cowl as well as I'm going to tighten down this frame and try to organize the rest of these connectors. Another example of how these plastic pieces are helping me is this piece right here screws in from the top right there and 
right down there. And this piece actually protects the module right behind it. I didn't know I needed this piece and apparently it goes with the fairing as well. And having these old pieces really helps me figure out what I need as well as I come with the clips that I need. So that's perfect. And all these bolts on top here are from the old frame. So now I can use them when the new pieces arrive. Everything down here underneath the seat is plugged in besides this connector right here, which I'm not sure what this goes to yet. And also the negative and positive side because I don't have a battery yet. Now all this in the rear is a lot longer than everything else. So I assume that somehow it connects back here somewhere, but I still got to figure that out I might actually have to pull up a diagram to figure out where all that goes because I really don't see where it would go right now I'm still waiting on an OEM battery to come in as well as a lot more parts for this Ducat Ducati Really? Oh my gosh, it's late as well as a lot of the rear plastics for this CBR So I need to do my homework figure out what plastics I'm missing figure out what bolts I need and then we can go from there So we'll catch you guys when we have more parts. See ya